Hi everyone, welcome back to another live. I can't believe it's the end of the scholastic year. We are in the final week of school and how's everyone feeling with the kids being out of school for the summer? I hope you've got some plans for the kids so that they can keep your, themselves busy but at the same time I do hope that you're slowing down just a little bit because summer is for that so we should have less kids activities uh, more quality time with the family and even more quality time just with ourselves. Which brings me to today's topic because um, if you've read the last blog post, you know that it's about self-care. And actually, when I asked two weeks ago about um, what topic you'd like me to chat about, a lot of you, and I say it was, I think, somewhere between 20 and 25, got back to me requesting a live about self-care. So I thought once there is um, so many ladies out there who would like me to talk about the topic, let me just work on a few blog posts and some lives. Um, so here we go. So um, uh, the blog post which I published last week, you might have read it, have you? Just let me know if you have, was about self-care practices which I say yes to daily. And this kind of touches on the same topic because what I'm going to be chatting about today is my morning routine. And unless you're the kind of person who literally just jumps out of beds and get jumps out of bed and gets going um, throughout your day, um, you do have a self-care routine every morning. So whether it's jumping into the shower, um, reading maybe in the morning, I know that some people do that, I'd love to, but I haven't arrived there yet. Maybe it's going for a jog. Anyhow, self-care is really important and how you start off your day really sets the tone for the rest of the day. So I'll just let you know about what I do every morning. So I'll just tell you a little bit about me in case you don't know who I am. My name is Nakita and I love helping busy mamas just like you empower themselves to take control of their time and of course leave more time for self-care, which is why we're here today. Um, I do this with, through my blog, through my Facebook lives, through my book, my social media pages. Um, and let me just say hello to um, some of you who are on here. So hi, I see Audrey. Hola, Katia. Hi, Annabelle. <laughs> Lovely to see you here. You did tell me you were going to be here. <laughs> well, I don't, know you, I don't know how many of you have realized, but um, I messed up just a little bit because when I sent out the blog post on Friday, I mistakenly wrote the topic for next week's live, which has nothing to do with today's. And I even said that I will be live on Wednesday. <laughs> That's next week. I'll go into it at the end. But I'm very happy to see that there is 57 of you over here, 58. So <laughs> I'm definitely not alone. <laughs> Anyhow, hello, Stephanie. Hi, Abigail. Hi, Christina. Um, hi, Raina. Hi, Justine. Kisses to you too. Hi, Leanne. All right, quite a bit of you. Hello, Nicoletta. <laughs> so what are you up to? Last week I asked um, what you mamas are up to and some of you were cooking, some of you um, were, were with your kids, some of you were at home. I think most of you were actually getting the cooking done. So right now I'm not multitasking, I'm all yours. The kids are um, at the beach today because swimming lessons have just stopped for the term. So there was a week's break. So my husband very kindly offered to um, come home and take Nina to the beach and Yannick is at the beach too with his friends. So they're there slashing about and having fun and I'm here with you, not disappointed at the least, don't worry. <laughs> I'm always glad to be here. Um, so just before I was um, here, just before I pressed the button and went live, I was, guess what? Clearing the house. Yes, I was decluttering. I was running about here and there trying to get the house sorted because that's what I do. And besides that, before I go live, I just like going about my day and sitting down at exactly 4.30 on the dot because preparation is not very good for me. I know my topics well, so I feel like pre preparing, like over preparing makes me nervous. So I just got my stuff done, looked at my watch. Ah, 4.30. Okay, we'll press the button and we'll go. So... I want to ask you as well, do you mamas have a self-care routine in the morning? So um, it can be like your kind of get ready in the morning routine, but do you have a set routine like wake up, have a shower, put on your makeup, get dressed and give me a bit of details as well. I'd love to hear what you do. Now, of course, um, I do have one. I've mentioned that I do some things every morning, so you already know. And this routine has changed over the years. Um, of course, when I was much younger, 
Um, I used to get ready much quicker, although I'm not the type to take hours to get ready, even if I'm going out for a date with my husband. But back when I was 16, I don't think I used to put on an ounce of makeup. But now, of course, yes, I do. I love it. Why not? Makes me feel good. Um, but my routine has changed according to, of course, um, we had Yannick first, so there was Yannick on the scene first and then Nina, and it's different with one and two kids. The time that you wake up changes, although I am an early bird, so I love getting up early in the morning when the house is super quiet, that's the best time of the day, and getting myself ready um, and then waking the kids up. So let me just see if we have any replies. So Isabella says that she's preparing dinner and watching me, and Nicoletta says clearing the medicine cabinet. Interesting. Nicoletta, do you have my um, medicine reorganization PDF? If you don't, leave me a message and I'll send you the link. Annabelle says cleaning. Hi, Lara. Hi, Charlotte. Hi, Amanda. And hi, Denise. Okay. And um, Janice, with regards to her morning routine, says managing to eat breakfast quietly and alone is a win. And yes, Janice, I so totally agree with you. Even if you can manage to get five minutes of quiet time in the morning with just yourself, just some breathing space. That is fantastic. It will make you feel so much better and it will set the tone for the rest of the day. And Stephanie says that she also tries to get up before her daughter, as otherwise it takes me longer to get ready. Yes, I'm sure we all agree. I make tea, get ready in the shower, dress, and then wake up my daughter and get her ready. And off we go. <laughs> okay, Nicolette, I see that you don't have the link to my... Um, PDF, so I will link it right after the live and I will share it with you. So the topic for the day, because I've seen that a lot of new faces have popped up as well, is about um, self-care, but more specifically, it's about how I get ready each and every morning. And this is um, a part of self-care as well. So just in case you do not know who I am, my name is Nakita and I run the Mama Manual blog and social media pages. And I love empowering busy mamas just like you to take control of their time so that they can live a life they truly love and of course practice more and more self-care. So shall we kick this off? Let's get started. So let's start with the time that I wake up. Now mostly I'm going to be talking about my routine during the week because of course it changes ever so slightly during the weekend. Um, but uh, even if, if it's the weekend, I'm not really the type to sleep in um, much. Well, Nina, it's not the type to wake up very early either. I mean, if I let her sleep, I think she'll stretch it till about 7.30, 8.30 if I'm lucky. So normally she does sleep in, but um, still on a Saturday, um, during the winter time at least, Nina has ballet lessons. So we wake her up at about um, 7 if I'm not mistaken, something around that time. And um, we're usually up at 6. Um, and get you know all, all this, get ourselves ready of course and get, get Nina's things organized, bags packed because we're usually running errands or doing something nice together after ballet. And on Sundays, um, we usually sleep in till about maybe seven thirty if we've got no plans. And Nina's usually the one who wakes us up in the morning. Of course, she's our little alarm clock. So during the week, I set the alarm for five fifteen a.m. Now, sometimes I get up straight away and sometimes I stretch it till 5.30, but no later than 5.30, I'm out of bed. So um, that's when I get up in the morning and the first thing I'll do is I'll hop into the shower. So I'll have a shower and brush my teeth, wash my face. And then as soon as I'm ready, I will um, apply some moisturizer and I'll apply some makeup. Now my makeup routine is also very different in the sense that since I've been working um, up in my boss for, for about two months or so now, I've established lately a no makeup Monday because on Mondays I'm just doing um, some deep work from home. So I don't have any meetings. I don't schedule um, anything which takes up a lot of time throughout my day because I feel I need to focus on some projects that I have underway at the moment. So I decided that on Mondays, I will just go bare, so that's no makeup at all, and I'm enjoying it, even though I do love makeup. And then um, on other days during the week, I, I'll be wearing um, a BB cream, and um, it's with SPF as well, so I'm protecting my, say, my face from the sun every day, whether it's um, summer, whether it's winter, that's something that I use every day. 
and then um, I'll apply some highlighter and some blusher, mascara, um, and I'd say, and concealer of course, concealer is very important because having olive skin, I do tend to get a bit of dark circles under my eyes, so that's what I usually use um, during the week when I've got nothing particular planned. Now, on days such as today, when I'm live, <laughs> I get a little bit, you know, more kind of, my face gets dressed up for you, mamas. So today I'm wearing, my face is wearing um, foundation as well. And I set it with powder. And of course I have um, what I mentioned before, which is concealer, highlighter and blusher, mascara. I fill in my brows as well and I apply some brow gel. And then I also apply some light eyeshadow. Sometimes I wear lipstick. Um, it depends on the mood I'm in. But I wear more makeup when I'm on live. And um, even when I have like an important meeting or I'm out for a full day and, you know, I just want to um, end my day still looking halfway decent, I will usually wear foundation because my makeup lasts longer when I do. So that is my makeup routine. So next, I'll get dressed. Now, before, and those of you who have the book, there's quite a bit of info on how to get prepared every morning. Now, before, um, I used to prepare my outfits for a full week because, um, of course, wearing, um, not wearing, working in an office environment, I couldn't just wear what I pleased every morning. So, of course, I had to um, be kind of, I mean, I'm always pulled together, but I couldn't wear sportswear, for example. So I had to kind of select my outfits with care. I couldn't wear ripped jeans, which is something that I love. So I just couldn't pick and, and choose and wear what I feel like. So I used to select my outfits once a week, usually on a Sunday evening. I used to choose five outfits for the week and I used to put them in the main wardrobe, which is in our bedroom. So in the morning, I just used to take my outfit um, and get dressed and that's about it. But today it's different because I can wear pretty much what I please. So I get up in the morning, see what I feel like, um, and put it on. So it's not something that I really put much thought into. However, I do like to vary my outfits as well. So um, I like to get creative and it's a form of self-expression to me. Um, what about you? Do you plan your outfits? Do you prepare them beforehand? Do you have a uniform? Which I think is fantastic if you're, let's say, working in an office or in a shop somewhere. Having a uniform would, would have made my life so much simpler when I used to um, work in an office, but um, I didn't. So yes, I used to plan my outfits every week for the following week. Otherwise, in the morning, I would just stare blankly at my wardrobe and probably start choosing all the things that weren't suitable. So there you go. <laughs> so next, after getting dressed and my makeup is done, um, I'll get my hair sorted. It's a very, very quick um, affair. So um, now that I have keratin in my hair as well, it's even faster. But what I will just, what I will usually do is um, I'll brush it and um, then I'll either pull it back like with a few pins like this, if it's a, a semi decent hair day, but I don't feel like having hair all over my face or it's not looking perfectly primped, but it's fine when it's kind of pulled back. Um, sometimes I'll pull it back into a ponytail as well, um, especially if I need to wash my hair that same day. So I'll just um, pull it back if need be. And sometimes I'll wear a headband to jazz things up or just because my hair isn't looking so fantastic and a headband or a cap does the trick as well. Um, and sometimes when I want to um, just give it a little bit of oomph, I'll just take my hair straighteners and I'll just um, straighten the hair inward so I get that little bit of a bounce. Um, and this reminds me I need to start curling my hair again. It's a little bit hot now, so I'm not really in the mood to use my curling tongs, but I love curly hair and I haven't done it in a while, so I think it's about time that my curling tongs come out again. So that's hair for you. Now next, I'm dressed, I've got my makeup on, my hair is ready, and I will tackle the bedroom very quickly. So I'll just clear it up. So there's usually a few bits and pieces running around, so I'll just straighten it up. Um, and at this point, my husband is either still asleep, about to wake up, or else most days, because most days he is jogging in the morning and he's running. So um, I'm glad to report that my husband is even better at self-care than me in the morning. So anyhow, if he's still in bed, um, I'll let him sleep a while longer and I'll shoo myself out of the room. 
And if he's jogging, anyhow, I'll just leave the room because um, he gets the bed made in the morning. That's his job. Um, we distribute tasks quite evenly. Of course, I'm home earlier, so um, he doesn't do as much as I do, which is understandable. I mean, he's at work um, for longer hours than I am. But once he's home, yes, of course, he does lend a hand, as does everyone in the household. So that's it. I'll tidy the bedroom. And then if I'm going, the ho I'm going out of the house, I will prepare my handbag. So I'll have a look at my bag. I will change it if need be. I have a very cute handbag organizer, so I don't need to empty the whole thing. So I just take out the organizer, see what bag I'm using for the day and see what else I need to put into my handbag. Same goes for any bags which I need to prepare for Nina because we might be going to grandma's after school or we might be going for an errand or who knows, whatever we might need. But at this point, I will be preparing bags as well. So just a quick break for me. I think I need to have a look because I'm seeing a lot of comments popping up and a lot of new faces. We're 82, goodness, and I thought I was going to be alone today. <laughs> so I see Sarah and Mary Louise. Hello, ladies. And Alicia says, when I used to work, I had a uniform, which I used to adore since by that, by that, I did not have to think about what outfit I had to wear. Yes, and I agree. Ah, that is a relief. There's Suzanne watching. And Daniela also says, I try to plan my clothes every Sunday, I iron them, and then I choose on the day which ones to choose. And that is perfect because, yes, I agree, it's much quicker in the morning. Daniela also has a uniform at work. And yes, it makes things easier. I do not plan what I wear as I go to work and change. Brilliant. <laughs> Trudy, hello. And Christina says, in winter, I prepare my clothes the night before. However, now in summer, I'm always in a summer dress, so I just grab one in the morning. It is so hot right now that I can fully concur. I usually put on a summer dress or a shorts and tank top, um, and sometimes I'll dare to wear some light trousers um, and some other top because, I mean, come July and August and then September when it's so sticky, who can bother to think about much more than that? <laughs> We're lucky to have a lot of air-conditioned spaces and cars anyway. So Daniela, hi, just joined recently, and hello to Maria, Pia, Katya, and Davichka. And Susan says, rightly so, I think you were the first one to comment on my post this morning. Hey Nakita, see, it's not only me and you. <laughs> no, it's not, and I'm so grateful. Hi Alicia. And Michelle says, what time do you sleep if you wake up at 5.15? So, um, I go to bed latest at 10.30 p.m. and then I read. I usually don't read for longer than 30 minutes and sometimes it's even less because if I'm very tired, I just doze off um, and sleep at that point. However, if I'm feeling tired um, or if I've had, um, let's say, a very active day the day before and my body feels that it needs the rest and I listen to my body in the morning and not when I go to bed because I'm the type of person that's so energetic that I might wake up a little bit tired, but by the time it's about noon, my body is fine and I feel revived and I feel fine, but that doesn't mean that I'm not tired. So I just take note of how I feel in the morning. So if I'm not feeling refreshed, that's like um, uh, a warning sign for me. So that evening I'll have an even um, earlier bedtime. So I'll go to bed at 9.30 usually and not at 10.30. So, I might not get a full eight hours, but then I do make up for it during the weekend, but um, I don't sleep very late either. No, I make it a point. And um, sometimes I have my feet up as well at night, uh, my feet up as well at about 9.30. So even though I'm not sleeping, I'm resting as well, which is important. And Nicolette says, my day starts at 5.30. So you can say it starts at the same time that mine does because of the school routine. Shower right after I wake up, the two elder siblings at 6 a.m. and start my day, hoping my little one, 18 months, wakes up after 7 to give me time to get things sorted. I'm an early riser, love having my tea alone in the kitchen, don't wear much makeup, usually an SPF for my face and some mascara, if I do. Hmm, interesting. Yes, I also love having my tea alone in the kitchen. I'll go into that soon. And as for makeup, well, I must admit, I do love it, <laughs> although I'm daring to go without it on Mondays now. And Annabelle says, lucky you, my kids wake up very early. I, give, I gave up to have alone time in the morning. Well, Annabelle, I hope you're managing to get some alone time in the evening as well. 
you know, we can scramble to get some alone time here and there. So if it's not in the morning, I hope we're getting at least 10-15 minutes in the evening. So hi to Sarah. And Christine says, I'm trying my best to have a self-care routine with an eight-week-old baby. Still a long way to go. Yes, I can remember when Nina and Yannick were eight weeks. And it was harder with Yannick as well. And self-care kind of goes out of the window. Let's say it takes a backseat at that point in time. But it's good that you're aware and that you know that it's important. And even if you can manage those 10 minutes every day, just 10 minutes, even if it's a mindful shower or it's just 10 minutes of breathing or reading or anything that you can manage, it will, I mean, of course, it will get better with time. Um, the first few weeks are always the hardest and um, it's the time that we end up missing the most. So cuddle up to your little baby and enjoy this time because it will fly. And um, Daniela is eating. I just finished cooking for today and tomorrow. Training is my set routine. If I start with exercise, I have more energy and I am happier. Hello, Nastasia, and hi, Fiona. And Fiona's watching the kids swim while chilling and having some me time. That sounds awesome. Okay, so let's get back to, um, to the topic. So, um, where was I? Okay, I time in the bedroom and I got my handbag ready, or the bags anyway, that I'm using for the day. So right after that, and this is something that I've started doing um, ever since I'm my own boss as well, I've started to meditate. Now, it's not easy and I'm getting bet better at it as well. I also go to weekly yoga classes. I go at least once. I'm trying to go twice. And um, I'm getting better at meditation as well because we do um, a, a meditation, a guided meditation at the end, which is the favorite part of the practice. But I'm also doing it every morning. So I'll go onto YouTube and I'll find, um, usually it's just a five minute guided meditation. And I'll switch it on. And whilst everyone is still asleep or my husband is not home, um, I'll put in my headphones and I'll do um, some guided meditation, um, which relaxes me and really helps me focus throughout the day. So right after my meditate, it's time for my cuppa. So I'll switch on the kettle and I'll make myself a cup of tea. And then I will enjoy drinking my tea while I start working. Um, I do 30 minutes of um, early morning work every day between 6 and 6.30 a.m. And this is the time that I get um, the little tasks sorted out so that then I can focus fully throughout my day. So I'm usually enjoying time and replying to you ladies inside of my DMs on Instagram and Facebook messages. And I'll get down to the comments on photos and posts. Um, and I'll reply to emails and um, I'll check my social media, see if I need to upload anything for the day. So that's usually my first 30 minutes of work time in the morning while I enjoy my cup of tea. Now at 6.30, um, I'll start waking up the kids. Um, I don't know about your kids, but my kids don't just get a good morning and they wake up smiling. So it's a bit of a process. So um, do your kids wake up straight away or do you struggle like me? I must say that um, Yannick is usually harder to wake up, but recently he's not so bad. The important thing is that um, he just needs 20 minutes to get ready and I wake him up 20 minutes before. But at 6.30, I'll just nudge him lightly to get him out of his deep sleep. And then um, 20 minutes before he needs to leave the house. And of course, we're talking about the winter routine, which is where we're at now um, when the kids have school. I'll, wake, I'll go and wake him up and then um, usually he's out of bed and I'll let him get ready. That's one of the nice things about having older kids. You wake them up and you can practically forget about them. But with Nina, of course, it's another story. So Nina used to wake up very quickly at one point and she's not like that anymore. I'm talking too much and my throat is getting dry. <laughs> so um, in Nina's case... I will nudge her a few times and I'll sing good morning and I'll just say good morning in every language that I can remember and I'll move her ever so slightly and usually she's still out like a log. So then I start trying to make things exciting. So um, if daddy's walking through the door, I'll go and wake her up and tell her, Nina, Nina, come, daddy's home, come and open up. And she will um, rush out of bed to open up the door for him or I'll choose a soft toy from her um, toy chest and that soft toy will um, 
go, I'll, I'll put the soft toy kind of inside Nina's um, school uniform, which I start to lay out um, while I'm trying to get Nina awake. So I'm, while I'm trying to wake her up, I'll lay out the uniforms, the things I need to get her hair done, and I'll take out the school bag and I'll start sorting out the stuff for school. But in the meantime, then finally, Nina will wake up. And um, once she's up, of course, I'll start getting her ready for school. But that's about it. Um, that's what I do every morning to get myself ready. And of course, then it's the kids and out of the house and on to the rest of the day. Now, let me just see. Um, I know that there are a few more comments over here. So let me just go back up. So Bella says, hey, hey to you, Bella. And Sephora and Rachel are watching. And Amy says, I do nothing but wake up and dress. I'd rather have an extra minute, minute of sleep than put on makeup. Kudos to you, Amy. <laughs> We're all different. And um, then I'd rather chill in the evening, to be honest. So you must be more of a night owl than I am. I'd rather do my things in the morning and chill at night. So as long as it works for you, oh well. And just, just something else. If you have, if you're sleeping for a while longer, that's also a form of self-care. So as long as you're managing all of your to-dos and you're happy, that's totally fine. Hi, Tony. And Evichka says, when I work out, I wake up at 5 a.m. It's so difficult, but then I'm full of energy. The husband does all the morning routine. Thankfully, he has no makeup to wear. <laughs> well, my husband doesn't wear any makeup either. But when we're going out, shh. He usually takes longer than I do to get ready. And I'm not kidding. <laughs> so Claire says, hi, I prepare everything the night before going to bed. Currently, I wake up at 4.30 so that I can get something before my early morning fitness class at 5.50. Wow, Claire. Deep admiration for you, girl. When I am not at work, I return home and I get my daughter ready for school. However... When I go to work, I shower at the gym and get to work as I start early. And my husband will then get our daughter ready himself. It's so fantastic to read all these comments about the hobbies, which rightfully so should be sharing tasks, of course, with the moms. And I love the fact that um, you mamas are taking the time to take care of yourselves and the hobbies are pitching in to do stuff at home and with the kids. It is how it should be. Don't take me wrong. I'm not saying it not should be like that. It shouldn't be like that. But it's just, you know, it's, it's lovely to see that they're pitching in um, in this way. So, perfect. So, Abigail says, Monday to Sunday, the girls wake up at 5.40 to 6 a.m., so no alone time in the morning. And in the evening, my husband and myself stay chatting and watching some series together after the kids sleep. Some well-deserved us time. Yes, again, you don't manage to get it in the morning, but it's fine. You get it in the evening. And... Um, I also love watching series, but I'm reading so many books at the moment that I'm just diving in and then I'm lost. But I feel like I should pick up um, a new series or other. What are you watching, Abigail? Even if there's anyone else who's watching something which is really good, let me know. Um, because I might be interested in watching um, something new. Um, I'm lying, actually, but I haven't watched it for weeks. I'm not the person who's usually watching reality shows. But um, a while ago, I started watching Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Um, way back, I think there's about nine seasons now, so I started from the first season. And it is so funny. <laughs> it is trashy TV, full stop. But I, I enjoy it. So I've yet to watch the last season. I just started the first two episodes. So actually, I think I'll get back into it. that. You reminded me about it, Abigail. <laughs> Anyone else watch Real Housewives over here? Um, so um, Christina says, my children wake up early and the first thing my son says is either let's play or let's eat. So when I don't manage to wake up before my morning routine revs up really quick. Needless to say, I will not be in my best of moods. Try and think of what you'll be doing that evening maybe. It also happens to me sometimes. Sometimes Nina wakes up early and that throws me off balance a little bit as well because... I haven't got my me time, maybe I haven't meditated, I haven't got my morning um, 30 minute slot of work in, so um, it trips me up as well too, but usually I try very hard not to let it affect me and I just close my laptop or whatever I'm doing at the moment 
and then I promise myself to um, stop my to-dos just a little bit earlier in the evening and indulge in some well-deserved me time that evening as well. And Alicia says, I know the feeling, but I have to pick up my five-year-old at 5.30, wake up my five-year-old at 5.30 a.m. Wow, that's so early. As her van picks her up at 6.10 a.m. My goodness, really early. Must be a challenge. So Charmaine says, hey, mama. <laughs> Chantel is watching as well. Okay, so I guess that... Um, that's it with the questions and the comments. If you're not watching live and um, you have any questions or comments, do leave your comments right down here and I will get back to you later. And now, officially, and I'm sure about this, next week, <laughs> way forward, my lives will start happening on Wednesdays instead of Tuesdays because um, my kids' swim class has been moved to Wednesday for the summer, so of course I'll need an empty house to do this, and this will start happening on a Wednesday instead of a Tuesday. It's the same time, it's 4.30 p.m. Malta time, GMT plus two, same place on the Mama Manuel Facebook page. And so just remember, of course, I remind you as well when I send out my email on Friday that um, it's going to happen on the Wednesday, instead of the Tuesday, and it will continue like this all summer. Um, hopefully I don't make a mistake again. <laughs> no, I've double-checked my emails now, so they should all be fine. Um, and I don't know if, you've subs if you have um, subscribed to my weekly email. If you haven't, um, maybe you can just leave a comment down here as well and let me know that you'll want to subscribe. I'll get right back um, uh, at you and I'll send you a private message with a link on how you can subscribe. And basically what I do is every week I send out an email which will link to the weekly blog post that is published every Friday. So Friday morning you'll get an email from me linking to the blog post of the week. And inside of the email, besides having some information relating to the blog post, I will also share my weekly meal plan. So you will get what I'm cooking or fishing out of my freezer because I don't cook every day. Um, so I batch cook and I freeze and then I just take out my meals from the freezer some days. And you will get links to the recipes that I'm cooking every single day, Monday through Sunday. And that is something I also share in, um, in my email. And then as well, I will just um, write um, a few, a couple of lines about what the Facebook Live topic is about as well. So you will know um, what you'll need to look forward to on the Tuesday. And that's about it. So if you're not subscribed and you would like to subscribe to start receiving this email, just leave a comment over here and I will get right back to you. Now, um, last time I asked what live topics you would like as well. And I'm going to be very specific. Right now I'm working on a lot of content which is related to meal planning, batch cooking, um, and all sorts of topics, which will help you get dinner on the table very quickly. But of course, um, all while cooking um, homemade meals most of the time that all the family loves, so you can spend less time in the kitchen. So if there is anything that you struggle with, anything that you'd like to know, anything that you'd like to learn, something you'd like more information on, a guide on a very specific topic, please let me know as well, because I love to create content which is tailor-made specifically for you. So if there's anything at all that you'd like me to focus on, I'd love to know. So please do leave me a comment or send me a message if you wouldn't like to leave a comment on over here. Now, um, that's it for today. It has been really lovely to have you here with me. Thank you for coming, even though I told you to meet me on the Wednesday instead of the Tuesday in my last email. It was so fun being here. I look forward to seeing you next week. Remember, it's on the Wednesday, same time, same place. In the meantime, take care and have a lovely rest of the day. Goodbye, mamas.